Uh, like Henry, I also want to just take time to thank everybody for this whole experience, uh, the organizers for giving me this chance to speak and for putting together such a wonderful workshop and opportunity. This was my first time experiencing a frog bear workshop and this one was particularly meaningful because it allowed me to reconnect with my MA institution of McMaster which had such a profound effect on the scholar that I became and am continuing to become. And I really have to thank my fellow participants and attendees. You've given me just a really amazing reading list and your comments and experience helped to rich what was already a really fulfilling experience. Uh, for everybody who had to make special arrangements to attend, whether that was getting up early, staying up late, taking time off work, adjusting plans, battling with internet connection problems, negotiating with family members or roommates or pets, um, thank you all for all of your efforts to be part of our community for these two weeks. Um, Part of the reason that I really wanted to participate in this workshop was because I knew that several of the topics would directly relate to my dissertation. And the opportunity to pick the brains of such knowledgeable speakers and ones whose research I've used for years was very appealing. Uh, so for example, my, my current chapter is looking at Buddhist precepts. And the broader dissertation topic relates to Buddhist networks and mobility of Buddhist individuals, material culture, and performing arts in South, Central, and East Asia, and then how that relates to 8th century Japan. In addition to learning material that will be immediately used in my dissertation, though, I also learned a great deal about seemingly unrelated topics that I hope to be able to make use of in the future as well. So um, I think on behalf of all of the students, I just want to say thank you to all of our instructors and lecturers for your time and your talks. I'm sure that um, they would all agree with me that we, you have left us all more enlightened, confounded, and intrigued, and you really stretched our brains. I know that I am not the only one, or at least I'm sure I cannot be the only one who left these sessions with a hand that was really sore from just scribbling notes for, you know, three or five hours uh, on end. Um, also for all of the contributions in the chat, I just am so appreciative. Uh, as we switch from topic to topic, I got to see different aspects and facets of your interest and experience. And it just provided so much more uh, material that just enriched the entire experience. Um, since I have this opportunity, I want to draw attention to all of the student presenters and the forums and everybody who lent services as moderators and discussants. Uh, presenting in front of professors is hard. In front of specialists is harder, but sometimes in front of your peers can be the hardest of all. This is especially the case for those who spoke in their non-native language or who were trying out new ideas in a public setting for the first time. So thank you for sharing all of your research and insights. I know I was a little intimidated, but also impressed and rejuvenated by hearing about your research. It's been a couple of years since I was in the seminar. And so being here with you all every morning just really reminded me of how invigorating that kind of experience could be. So finally, thank you, Vicki and Carol, uh, as well as the other organizers from Frog Bear and McMaster and the Tenju Buddhist Network. There is just so much work that goes into planning this kind of workshop um, in the best of times. And when you're trying to accommodate 40 students, four seminar presenters, three lecturers, respondents, and uh, I don't know how many, what was it like 12 different countries and time zone and time zones covering all of those. It's a lot of work. And I really appreciate the community that you helped create and your efforts to provide this rich and engaging experience for us. Thanks.